Cyberbullying. What is it? According to StopBullying.gov, cyberbullying is a use of electronic devices and communication to bully a person and or people, typically by sending messages with an intimidating or threatening nature. So what does this mean? Cyberbullying is an indirect form of bullying. Rather than physically appear in front of a person, a cyberbully will bully the victim via social media and the internet. Cyberbullies are able to keep their distance between them and their target, allowing them to do whatever they please. However the method, cyberbullying is easier to perform and easy to be received. And at the same time, once content is posted onto the internet, it is extremely difficult to take it down and it is extremely unlikely that it will be permanently removed. And worst of all, cyberbullying and bullying in general cause most of the teens' suicidal thoughts and tendencies. According to PubMed.gov of the National Center of Biotechnology Information, 9.6% of 6th, 9th, and 12th graders in a 2010 Minnesota student survey received constant victimization, and 29% of victims have suicidal thoughts or have attempted suicide. These statistics are disgusting, horrifying, and unacceptable. No person should want to take their own life, for whatever reason. So what can we do about it? How can we save the lives of millions of teens worldwide who are depressed, sad, angry, and suicidal due to cyberbullying and bullying in general? Nonprofit source HelpGuide.org suggests these following methods to report cyberbullying. Keep the evidence, report any threats, be relentless, and block communication. Keeping evidence of cyberbullying is a great way to have valid proof of the act when reported. This allows the person helping you to understand the gravity of the situation and help you stop it. Similarly, report any threats to you or someone you know to a trusted person. Telling a situation to an adult or parent may not be the best course of action, especially if they are not savvy with today's technology. We're not saying that your parents are not helpful, but they may not be as keen to the world of social media. Ask someone you trust, whether it's friend, counselor, or specialist for help. Experts suggest to be relentless in reporting this cyberbullying, whether that is via the social media website or through a physical person. Don't allow the person's threats and taunts to get the better of you. Report them, get them banned from using the media. On the same note, and above all things, block the user who is harassing you. Most, if not all, social media websites have ways to block users from interacting with you in any way. Using these and other methods, you can stop yourself from becoming just another number in the group of millions who deal with cyberbullying every day. So what are you waiting for? Take control. Step up for yourself. Help us end cyberbullying.